Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a reseller cloud account with us here. This is mostly used for those of you that want to start your own web hosting business or maybe you own a web development agency and you want to offer your customers um, web hosting. You can do that through NameHero and you can completely white label the service so it looks like you're providing it and you can bill your customers as much as you wish. And the cool thing about this is you can get started with this for as low as $9.95 a month. Okay, so to get started, we're going to click here on the main page. And then we're going to go here to the main reseller cloud web hosting page. And we're going to make our decision on what account we want to start off with. Now, the cool thing about being on the cloud here at Name Hero is you can start out with our $9.95 a month plan. And as you grow your business, you can start to increase more space, more bandwidth. Okay, so it's, um, you know, it's up to you whichever one you want to start with, but if you're a brand new startup business, just go with the startup, and as you use your 50 gigabytes of space and your 500 gigabytes of bandwidth, then you can start to move on up. Now, the cool thing here about us here at Name Hero is we let you oversell your space and bandwidth, meaning that you can offer your customers a lot more space than 50 gigabytes, and now you only pay for what you actually use. So once you use that 50 gigabytes, then you need to buy more, um, but you don't have to actually pay for uh prepay for what you don't use. <laughs> okay, so to get started, we're just going to click here and get started here. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we need to tell a system, do we want to register a new domain, or do we want to transfer our name in, or do we want to use our existing domain? Okay, so I've already got the um, domain set up here. It's called Resale Hero, or resellhero.com, and it's already set up here at Name Hero, so we're going to use it. Feel free to register a new one. This is basically your, going to be the domain for your website, so the website your customers go to to purchase their services, um, or maybe you already have a site set up to where they do that. So that, that's what you would use for this. Okay, so the next thing is you need to choose the billing cycle. Now, to get the special $9.95 a month, you actually have to purchase um, the 12-month price. Now, if you if you um, want to go month to month, then you're, you're going to pay more um, for that package. So to get the discount, I definitely recommend going with the 12-month price. It's well worth it. Um, next, you have an option to get a dedicated IP address. Um, this isn't as popular as it used to be. Nowadays, we see more and more websites that use reverse DNS proxies such as Cloudflare. So the dedicated IP address is really not, not necessary as it used to be. So that's up to you. If you don't know whether you need it or not, then you don't worry about it. You can add it on later. Um, but we're not going to add it to this because it's really not needed. Okay, so it just takes a second here to, to load up. And we're going to see our order summary here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and place my order, and I'll, I'm going to pause the video while I do that, and then we'll continue from the control panel. Okay, after you purchase your CentOS screen like this, just shows your order number, and that's just for your reference. You're going to get an email with all the information. So we're just going to continue to the client area. Okay, now you're going to see this is the client area of NameHero.com. This is where you're going to manage your account and, and your domains and, and tickets if you need so, um, as well as your invoices and all your, all your cool billing info. So what you can do is you can click on Cloud Web Hosting here, and you can see the startup account we just ordered is right here. Okay, so this dashboard here is going to begin to populate. Now right now it's a zero out of unlimited and zero out of unlimited. That's because you haven't used anything yet. Now as that's going to update each night. Now here's that dedicated IP address we talked about. If you want to add that later on, you can add it right here. Um, but again, it's not really not going to be needed. But the first thing we need to do when setting up a reseller account is to set up our private name servers. And so you can see the system tells us here what they what they need to be. But there's one more step that you need to do. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your domains. Yeah, I go to it right here. And you can see we have resellhero.com. Now, if your name is not registered with us here at namehero.com, you're either going to have to transfer it to us or you're going to have to go to where the name is registered and register your name servers. Um, so if you've registered your name at a, at a competing registrar such as GoDaddy, um, then you need to actually go to GoDaddy and register your name servers. And you have to work with their support um, because we're not really sure how every system works. We can only demonstrate on how ours works. So any questions to that, be, feel free to let us know. But um, it's going to be right in here is where we are going to get to, to registering these name servers. So we're going to click private name servers. Okay, and so we're going to type in NS1. And we're going to go back here for reference. And you can see this IP address right here. We're just going to copy it. And we're going to paste it right here. Save the changes. Okay, and you can see the name service successfully registered. We're going to go back and we're going to grab the IP address for ns2.1. 
.namehero.net. So now we're going to go to NS2. We're going to paste the IP address of that in there, and we're going to click Save. Okay, and that's all there is to registering your name servers. Very simple, but it is a very important step. Um, so now you can give your customers these name servers. So once you add them to the server, they're on the server, but you give them these name servers, and it's private. So they're not using Name Hero. They don't know anything about Name Hero. They're just able to add your name servers to their domains and connect the web hosting. Okay, so the next step you want to do is you want to go into your web host manager. So if you look here on the actions tab, you're going to see you've got a cPanel link and a web host manager link, webmail, change your password, request cancellation, upgrade and downgrade. So we're going to log into web host manager. Now, web host manager, this is where you manage all your clients. Um, so when you start to add accounts, you're going to do it from here. Okay, so you're going to create a new account and you would do it from right here. Now, there's one thing that you're going to see is when you, and this is so when you're setting up a new customer, you would set them up right here. You just go to new account. Most of these other settings in here you're not going to need to mess with, um, but you will definitely need to know how to create a customer to your account so you can host them. So here is where you would enter their um, domain, username, password, um, and all that good stuff. So <clears throat> there's one more thing you need to do though, is you actually have to set up a package, a hosting package. Uh, since there's not one set up, it, it's not going to let, let you create this. So we actually do that right here. We add a package. And so we just call this, say, our basic. And we would say how much bandwidth we want to allow the customer to have, or disk space, bandwidth, all that good stuff. So for the example here, let's just say we wanted to let them have 10 gigabytes. So that would be 10,000 megabytes. All right, um, we're not going to limit their bandwidth, so let's put unlimited. And we'll just leave the rest of unlimited for this demo max park and add-on domains we're going to leave this at zero if we want to allow the customer to have more than one domain hosted with us we could add that number here uh, but this for this basic package we only let the customer host one domain with us so we're going to leave that at zero okay you can leave the rest of this stuff um, default especially if you don't know what it means um, shell access is going to be disabled by default and that's good because you don't want to enable that for security reasons go ahead and leave cgi um, as default this is a cPanel theme. I like just to keep it to the default paper lantern. Feature list. Um, this is just use the default. You can actually edit edit this in the feature manager. But um, if you don't if you don't want to edit it, if you don't need to, you can just leave it at default. Okay. So now we've set up the package. You can see it's a success. So we was click list accounts, and you can see resellhero.com is already set up. Um, so to access the cPanel for Resell Hero, we would just click here. And this will actually take us in the cPanel. So each account you create creates its own cPanel. Inside of cPanel is where your customer will manage all their stuff. This is where they can manage their files. This is where they can set up databases. This is where they can set up email addresses. This is where they can scroll down and they can set up WordPress. They can um, even set up Cloudflare and all that stuff. Now let's go back here and let me just show you how to set up um, a site similar to um, resell hero. So if we go here, we're going to go to create. We can just type in create. And let's just, for example, do namehero.org. And you can see it makes us a username. We're just going to call it in org. And then I like to use the password generator um, because it makes it strong. So this is the password and this is a username that you would give your customer. This is how they actually would access their cPanel without accessing your entire account. <coughs> So we'd select that package that we just created. Okay, and it's and it's actually not going to let us use this because um, we set our limit as unlimited um, for the bandwidth. So we have to go back in and just change that for this for the basic starter package. So we just have to give it a limit. Now we can set this really really high like if you want to offer it unlimited, but you do have to actually set a limit on the bandwidth. Um, and same for disk. You want it if you want it really high, you can. Um, but that um, is important to note. So we'll go back here. Now we're going to go namehero.org. And it's caught in org. And that password that was strong that we saved. This is where you would add the email address to your client. Now we can select that um, package. And you can see we're all set here. Uh, you can just leave this DNS default. This is what, you know, we talked about registering as name servers. You would actually give this to your client and have them change your name servers to this. And you can keep the local mail exchange, and you can click create. And you can see it doesn't take very long. 
um, to actually generate and set all this up. And you can see everything has been created. You can read through that to see all the details. But if you go back to list accounts now, you're going to see um, namehero.org is right here. So now you could give the client of yours um, the link to their cPanel, um, which would be, you can give them this link right here. You can just click, um, right click, um, and copy link or command. Or this link right here, you could give it to them. Um, and it takes it right there. Now, some of you that are wanting to white label, um, what you would do is you would type in branding and click here. And this here is where you would imp input all your information about your hosting company so people don't know it's Name Hero. So you can upload your own company. Well, first you do you start the company name. You put the name of your company. Um, a help link, the link to your help desk or, or your knowledge base. Um, that's what would go here. And you can see Name Heroes would be slash knowledge, knowledge base. You can send them to our knowledge base if you don't mind to not white label. But if you want a white label, put it to your own. Um, this is where you upload a logo. You just click browse and find the logo on your computer to your company. You can see, for example, the Name Heroes is right here. Um, so you would replace Name Hero with your own logo. And you would do that right here in the branding. Um, same with the webmail. Um, you could add your logo to that. And a favcon. A favcon is this right here. See up here? This um, uh, the superhero. That would be, you could replace that with your own company as well. And then you just click save when you're finished with that. Now, if you want to, you can play around with these other settings in here. Um, now, I don't recommend editing any of this stuff, especially if you don't know what you're doing, but you could go look. Um, you know, These are the name servers we registered. Um, there's the contact information. Now, this is the this is legacy, meaning it's not used in, in the new interfaces, but there is a way for customers to use the old cPanel theme um, as they transition to the new one. So you could enter, um, enter this stuff in here. Um, you can go through each of these about the additional languages you can add. You can see the languages that are already in here for cPanel, which is pretty cool, especially for those of you that um, you know, don't speak English. Uh, remote access key, this is how you would actually, if you want to use a CRM, a billing system, such as WHCMS, um, this is the information you would need to actually connect it to that. Um, and that, we'll do a tutorial on that all together, but um, this is that information that you would use to connect that. And back to the accounts, we already listed the accounts, um, park domains, um, any subdomains, any accounts that have been suspended. If you want to view the bandwidth usage, see any accounts that are using bandwidth, you can see no one's using anything right now because we just set it up. And of course, you got the create account stuff. You can change a client's pa password. <clears throat> Say they forget their password or lose it, you can uh, reset it for them here. You can manage the suspended page, or you can actually manage this, who you suspend here. Say the client doesn't pay you, you can suspend their account here. And the next thing here, you can actually modify how that suspended page looks. Maybe customize it with your company logo and stuff like that. Um, or maybe a, a, a reason, you know, you need to pay your bill or you need to log into a customer center. I mean, you can do any of that right here. Um, if you want to do multiple account stuff, say you want to um, maybe change the package of multiple accounts, you could do that here. Um, you could terminate multiple accounts here. And then you can also change your web host manager theme. Um, you can see we only have X installed. So if you installed another one, you could do that here. Um, here's where we added our package, our basic, we'd add whatever hosting package here. We can delete a package, edit the package. Um, the feature list we talked about, we could add that here. Um, here's where we can do our DNS stuff. Now this is automatically me set up for you, so if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Um, but if you need to edit any of your DNS records, they're all going to be in here. Um, same for the MX for the mail. Um, then you got the email section. Um, it show, it'll show your reports if you start having problems with emails. All that will be in here. Okay. Um, then we get down to the cPanel, the branding. We covered that already. This is for the SSL certificates. If you need to install an SSL certificate for yourself or for a customer, you could do it here. Customers can also do this in cPanel, but sometimes you may find it easier to set it up for them in here. And then you have the cPanel development forum. And that link actually goes to their forum. A lot of your questions can be answered here. I recommend jumping down here and actually reading through some of this. That's some really good stuff. These are really good forums to be in, be in, be participate in. And then they have their SDK, a link to their developer kit, which is all in here. If you don't know what you're doing with that, then you don't have to mess with that. Um, 
And then we got our firewall. You don't have to worry about that. We handle that on our end. Um, this is from Fantastico, um, which we can also handle that on our end. And it's a Soft Delicious. This is important stuff. Um, we have it all set up for you. It comes free with our accounts, so you really don't have to do much there. So that's kind of a brief tutorial on how to set up your reseller account here at Name Hero, how to register your name servers, how to access your web host manager, and how to start adding customer accounts. Now, some of you may want to automate this process, and that's when you want to get a, a billing system such as w, WHCMS. Um, and if, if that's something that you want to do, we actually offer a one-click install of that um, that you can do through your cPanel. So if we click List... We could go into the cPanel for our resellhero.com, our main website, and we could scroll down here. And down here, we can find it right here, WHMCS. And this basically all it does is it automates the entire um, customer account creation process. So you just click here to install it. Now, um, this is not free. You'd actually have to purchase a license. Um, so you have to go through and, and read up about that if that's something that you want to do. Um, but again, it's all here. You can go to their support site and stuff and read about that. But I know we get that all the time in our help desk. You know, hey, I don't want to create my accounts manually. How do I create them automatically um, and, and use a billing system to, such as WHMCS? Um, so that concludes today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let us know. But other than that, you can see it's very simple to get started, very simple to become a reseller here at Name Hero. We want to help you make more money with your business, whether your primary business is just web hosting or if you are a web developer trying to offer your customer space, or maybe you're an advertising agency and you actually offer your, your um, clients web hosting um, as part of your services. Any of that that you need help with, feel free to let us know. Thanks so much for watching. We greatly look forward to working with you.